Welcome to Chaos Core Tech. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I've got something pretty interesting for you. We are going to 3D print a chalkboard and a whiteboard. And you guys are probably thinking, but Garrett, how do you 3D print a chalkboard? Well, come on guys, we're not gonna 3D print a chalkboard. We're gonna 3D print some stuff and then spray paint a chalkboard on top of it. Also, whiteboard. And then, as a bonus, I printed these borders out of wood fill to give it more of an authentic feel. So, let's get in and see how I did this. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got here. First of all, this is the speech bubble, and there's nothing too specific there. Um, so for the settings, I'm using the low preset in um, Matter Control, and I've changed a few things, but um, the main things to note here is that it is a 0.3 millimeter layer height, since there's really no details that you need to take into account for the layers here. There's not much else that's really noteworthy here. So this, let's see how long it'll take. Um, I'll go ahead and generate, and it looks like 21 minutes. So that's not bad at all for 0.3 millimeter layer height. That'll do just good, and let's step through it. Pretty simple, got some infill there. And I think I'm just using 30% infill for that. So then let's go to the actual um, chalkboard surface and the whiteboard surface as well. And this is basically just a really flat plane here. Um, well, it's not really plain box because it has some um, depth to it, but then it's just got these pegs that the um, the borders will sit on top of um, And I'm using the same settings for those uh, or for this so um, 0.3 millimeter layer height will do us just fine and then this one will take us a little over an hour to print and Same thing there Nothing really interesting and then same with these ones the the only kind of interesting thing about these they have all those notches and I'm actually printing them out of ColorFab wood fill. So these will come out looking like wood and sort of feeling like wood. And even if you sand them and while they're printing it smells like wood, it's pretty cool. Uh, ColorFab wood fill is 70% wood or 70% PLA and 30% wood. So actually the settings you use for it are almost identical to PLA. And so I just left the settings the same and printed and had absolutely no problem with it. So let's go ahead and see what these take. Not too bad. And this this overhang, they'll be able to handle that with no issue. Let's go print these and let's see how they turn out. Okay, so here we have all of the parts printed out. Um, these I printed just out of black PLA, uh, all, the bl all the black pieces, and then these are actually wood fill. Um, and basically what I'm gonna be doing is um, sanding these about as smooth as I can get them, um, just the black surfaces, and then I will probably be priming them and putting on their specific paint. And then for these two, I'm going to turn them into chalkboards, just using the, the chalkboard spray paint that you can get. And then this one, I'm going to be doing the same thing, but I'm going to put um, the whiteboard spray paint on it. So it'll be a little whiteboard. And then these are just the borders for these. And as you can see, they have little slots to fit on, um, on these. Okay, so then this goes on the bottom there. The longer ones go on the side. And that's pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, in the end, as you can see, it gives it a really nice border, and um, 
I thought it was kind of cool that we could 3D print something and turn it into a chalkboard that actually has wood borders. Let's go see how this will turn out. Okay guys, so my wife finished painting these, um, priming them and painting them and everything. Um, and they turned out really well. So here we've got the speech bubble, which is a chalkboard. And as you can see, I mean, there's a few lines in it, but for the most part, it's really, really smooth. And then this is the flat chalkboard. And as you can see there, it is almost perfect. It is really nice. Um, so that should work out really nicely. And then here we have the dry erase board. And that one looks like it worked out pretty well too. I'll be interested to try these out. So now our next step is to put the wood borders on them. Okay guys, so if you want to build one of these for yourself, um, obviously you're going to need a 3D printer and print the parts out. And then you're going to need some sandpaper. Um, I go from about 100 grit down to, I think this is like 220, and then this is a 400 grit um, to get it really, really, really smooth. And the 400 grit will do just fine on that. Um, if you want to go higher, you can. More power to you. Just make sure that it is smooth to the touch and these will work just fine. And then you will also need some um, some sort of glue. I'm just using the Gorilla Super Glue and this works just fine. Don't need anything too intensive there. You will also need some primer and um, for both of these we just used white, um, normal white primer. Nothing special about it. Um, and then if you want to do the chalkboard, um, this is what we use. They have a bunch of different kinds of chalkboard paint, but just use the Krylon spray chalkboard paint. And then after you prime it, just go ahead and spray some of this on there and make sure you read all the directions because there's a few different steps you have to take to in order to use this. And then of course you're going to need some chalk. Um, and then if you want to do the whiteboard, what you'll need is this um, dry erase. Uh, we're using Krylon here as well. And we actually got clear um, which worked out fine because we were using white primer and but it actually says it works better on um, more vibrant colors but I figured that'd be weird to do dry erase on and I'm not actually sure if they make white but um, just pay attention to what color you're getting when you get this um, and I think there's a couple different brands you can get but once again follow the instructions because this one it was actually pretty detailed and you had to apply several coats and um, wait for several days to let it set up completely so make sure you follow those. And then of course you'll need some dry erase markers. Okay, and so basically what you're gonna wanna do, we've already finished this one here, um, but as you can see on the back here, it is just the normal 3D printed one. We didn't do the back, so you can see it is 3D printed. And just sand the surface of it until it is completely smooth. And then once you have that where you want it, go ahead and prime it, let that dry. And then um, this one we apply the chalkboard to. That's really all you have to do for that one. Now for these, you'll want to leave the borders how they were, and I actually printed these out of wood fill, but you can print these out of plastic or whatever, but you probably won't want to paint the border um, with the chalk or the whiteboard, so leave those off, and then just paint this, and then once you're done and this is all good, then just glue these on using the super glue. So now let's test these out. Okay, so in order to test this out, there's one last step I have to do with the chalkboard. Um, it says to take just a piece of chalk and basically run it flat side all over the um, all over the surface, and then we'll wipe it off. And I don't actually have an eraser, but that should do. All right, so that worked decently well. Let's give this bigger one a shot here. OK, 
Okay, and then we'll wipe that off. Let's see how well this does. I think that worked pretty well. Let's try the dry erase. My horrible drawing of a smiley face. That, that was just for you guys. Not just anybody gets work this special, that's for sure. All right, let's see how it erases. Look at that. That worked absolutely perfectly. Ta-da! Well guys, I hope you found this interesting. I sure thought it was kind of a cool project. Um, if you like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. It would help me out a lot. And as always, I've uploaded these files onto pretty much every 3D printing site I could find. Um, so pick your favorite one. Links are down in the description. And then if you build one of these, let me know how your experience was with these different kinds of spray paints. I'd love to hear it. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. It helps me out a lot. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm at Chaos Core Tech. And once you've done all that, check out some of these other videos I've made. Thanks for watching, guys.